Okay, some tips for your camel spin. In this video, we're gonna look at your normal camel spin, a camel catch variation, and a flying entry into a backward camel spin. I do intend on making a longer camel video, so subscribe to the channel and look out for that. It will be with you soon. And a shout out to Amy for our demonstrations today in this video. I'm going to show you uh, two ways I get my skates to do it. Um, first thing I tell them, obviously, we need to step out of the circle. From your circle of crossovers, strike your camel spin away from the middle. This is because the free leg and hips are extended throughout your camel spin behind you. That's just the ground rule. And then I get mine to lean forward before they step forward. We're trying to get your head at the same height as your hip as you step in. Um, let's show you that first. Yeah. Start to lean forward as the weight hits your front foot of your final crossover. You'll end up with your head the same height as your hip as you step in and reach yeah. the three turn of the camel spin. Lift your leg to meet the height of your body rather than tilting the whole thing as this will be more unstable. Now camel has a whip, what I call a whip. I like to create that whip with this left hand doing uh, what I call a cauldron stir. So it's like a big stir as you step in and then both hands go back. So I think this banana position all the way through your body is really important. Here's a quick doodle for the theory behind your camel spin. As a balanced position, your head and foot should be the same height. You can see the banana position here through your whole body, which is made by pulling your head and your foot upwards towards the ceiling, making sure your chest is open and your arms are held back in this position. So let's put it all together. Head down, cauldron, banana. There you have a camel. Now usually people underestimate how much you need to stretch. So whatever you think it is, double it and try again. Try this little trick to get some more power for your camel spin. Now most people go into their camel spin with their arms back too soon. And that results in you having power, but you could get more if you try it like this. If you start with both arms forward, it basically makes the circle you're spinning around bigger. And then you pull them back as you three turn into your strong position. So when you step forward, both arms in front of you makes the whole position longer. When you pull back for the three turn, there's a sudden boost of power. Might just help you with your camel spin. Give it a try. Can you see how this position is smaller than this position? Let's move on to some quick tips for your camel catch foot variation. Here's a lovely demonstration by Amy. Once you've mastered your camel spin, it's a really good variation to move to as it creates a more interesting position for your spin. So here's how it works. First of all, make sure you've got a really strong stretch in your initial camel position. You'll need the speed as you bring into the variation. The second step for this variation is to twist your shoulders before bending your knee or trying to grab your foot, or you will get stuck and not able to grab your foot. And if you've been in that position, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about here. Tip number three is once your foot's in your hand, you can push your foot backwards into your hand rather than trying to lift with your arm. By pushing your foot backwards, you should be able to tweak the final position and create more of an arch through your body. Let's look at the flying camel. First of all, a little theory, back to our doodles. The entry curve of your flying camel should look like this. The landing zone for that is the other side of the curve. Now a lot of people jump to the wrong side of the curve because they don't wait long enough on the toe. So at this blue line bend your knee, you'll pivot on your toe on the cross and land in this landing zone marked by the X. So when you try it, remember this doodle. And for you lefty skaters, here it is the other way round. 
Now a lot of people prefer a flying camel as an entry to the backspin as it does generate a lot more speed and speed is one thing that can really help your camel spin balance. So here we go, Amy's going into the jump here, there's the entry curve, you can see the landing zone, she jumps over her tracing and lands nicely on the backspin. From there everything else is the same, you must try and get the banana position by stretching your head and foot to the ceiling and arching your back. Now in my experience, a camel is no more difficult than the sit spin as long as you've got a good strong spiral position. Both the sit and the camel rely on a good speed, so make sure you have a really good upright spin before you start any of these sit spin or camel spin variations. And here's Amy just showing off for the last part because she can. Well done. Thanks for watching guys, please hit the subscribe button for more or drop a comment below if you'd like to see any other videos. Why not share this video with someone you think it might help and follow me over on the socials. Thanks a lot, see you next time.